Let's Go Thrifting at Goodwill Outlet in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Let's head right in there and have a quick look through the furniture section, the art, the glassware, and then we will get into those bins where everything is sold by the pound. Although the furniture, it's individually priced, as is the glass, the art, and the larger children's toys around the perimeter of the bin's outlet. I was noticing that a lot of the furniture seems a bit banged up, but the price was incredibly low. Here we are. There's a lot of bins to be, uh, a lot of people just rummage through the bins. It's quite something. Here's my haul from day two, and I'll show you guys five items that I bought at the end of this video. We'll do like a Tell game. I'll open up one of the boxes, one at the time, and you guys might be impressed what I picked up. So we're still going around the perimeter of Calgary's Goodwill Bins outlet. And we're seeing some chairs, old grandfather clock that eh, looked kind of iffy. But let's go have a look at the artwork. And remember, a lot of this stuff is the stuff that they could not sell in the retail store, so it winds up here deeply discounted. And we have some furniture. The art again that we just looked at. And then we'll move over to toys, some luggage. And some more toys. Bicycles. Now the thing you cannot do is push your carts beside the bins. You have to leave your carts on the outskirts of the building. So you kind of like go in the bins, grab some stuff and then walk over to your cart and put it in. That way nobody trips over the shopping carts because it can be quite the frenzy when everybody's digging through those bins and clothes are flying around <laughs> and stuff is flying. People are snatching stuff, carts in the way. Mm -mm. So that's kind of something odd. While I was filming this, I was not pushing a cart, so I wasn't picking up stuff. I couldn't. I wanted to do a run through just to show you guys what is there. And at the end of the video, I'll show you what I actually bought over two days. So yeah, lots of nice stuff, lots of nice stuff. So again, this is the stuff that was, they weren't able to sell in the store. So it winds up here, it winds up here. A lot of nice crystal, some pottery, a whole bunch of nice stuff here. That's too nice to be thrown in the bins, I guess. That's my idea. Or they just plain wanted to make more money than $1.35 a pound. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, all these prices are in Canadian dollars. No price on that one, must have been free. <laughs> Probably not though. I found the price on their figurines to be pretty good, a buck. I had a really nice time there. I've got to go back. I've only been there twice and I made a couple new friends, some really nice ladies. This piece looks like it was hand painted. Maybe a kid painted it. I almost recognize the paints from Michael's. But that was sweet too. Asia Master Group. Don't know if it's anything special. I've seen the style before, but I think it was a different company that made it. I thought those figurines are a good price at three bucks. No markings on it though. And I wasn't sure if somebody did that themselves or is that something that was sold in stores? I like this piece of pottery. A buck. Not bad, not bad.
that stuff looked new to me. What do you think? Do you think that's vintage or new? It was so shiny. I was like, I don't know. Is it new? I know that the bowl beside it is something that came from probably Winners or HomeSense. It's very modern. But for three dollars... I'm thinking this guy here, this plate was something that somebody painted as like a craft project themselves. I don't know. Although it is stamped, this looks kind of arts and craft feel. Plums and cherries, always popular. Teapots, teapots. Halloween, those are glass. Then we get into a few trays. Now we're going into the bins. So you saw the bins, how it was laid out at the beginning of the video. I'm trying not to videotape anyone while I'm doing this. So I don't have many big broad angles. But what's important is that we get a good idea of what is in these bins. Now, these have been picked through over and over again. They're not freshly rolled out bins. What goes on in there? is a few times every hour, employees will come out from the back, pushing these carts with these bins on it. And you're not allowed to touch those carts until they say shop or go. They just roll them out and you have to really respect that. Everybody gathers around the freshly rolled out carts to literally dig in. You don't know what you're gonna find in there. You could find treasures and at the end of this video, I'm going to reveal to you five treasures that I found right there. And I was surprised where I was finding stuff. Some of these bins have stuff mixed into them. You think it's all toys and then you find, I don't know, something expensive, maybe a name brand handbag or art or I don't know, home decor. Now here's what I mean. Fresh bin being rolled out. Nobody's allowed to touch anything until they give the word and they just gave the word and look at that look how people are trying to get to the bottom of it just digging 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 I don't know what you're gonna find name brands stuff that's almost new people were there buying to flip buying to resell they some of the people earn their living doing this somehow some way I don't think they just go here they go to a lot of different places to buy and then they'll resell it on eBay Poshmark uh, wherever <laughs> and yeah it's very competitive very competitive I saw some squabbling going on I saw some snatching I saw some tug of wars it's like I got it no I got it go oh, come on you know that kind of thing so you kind of have to have nerves of steel and a bit of thick skin to go and rummage through those bins as they're being rolled out the fresh stuff because that's where all the competition is that well that's where all the good stuff is going to be because nobody's picked through it right so they want to get into those fresh bins roll up their sleeves and just start grabbing because they don't know what they're going to find and it's done within like a minute minute or two minutes of digging then they just kind of like stand back and wait for the next fresh bin to roll out and if you go and you pick through the bins that they just pick through like say five minutes later you can still find some good stuff it's just not good enough for them because they're like professional shoppers they're looking for stuff to resell and that's it they're not there to decorate their house or buy clothes for themselves at least that's my guess and yeah records records old records i didn't see anything i'm not i'm not into records to be honest i've had my fill of them back in the 80s i'm done with records but i'm just showing you that you know you pay a dollar 35 a pound for records DVDs, Blu-ray, cassettes, <laughs> eight track tapes, <laughs> VHS, all there is all there. Glimpse of the furniture and there's the bins from a distance. It's pretty big in there. Like I said, no shopping carts behind the people are all on the outskirts of, of the shopping area. So you just go and you pick up your stuff. You go walk back and forth, put stuff into your cart to avoid tripping hazards. 
kind of inconvenient that way, but that's the rules. So that was pretty. I didn't pick it up, but you can find some literally like rags in there to brand new stuff. It was shocking. Or gently worn clothes. And that's what people are looking for to flip. The stuff that's name brands in very good condition and or lightly used and they're able to sell them. Same with toys. See, look, briefcase, luggage, toys. That's what I was saying. You just don't know what you're going to find in these bins. They tend to kind of sort them like, okay, this is a bin full of toys. This is a bin full of clothing. But it doesn't always work that way. You could be digging into like clothes and find a name brand handbag that's worth like over a hundred bucks. Really, I'm serious. <laughs> It's, it's shocking or you can dig in there and waste your time it could be a total waste of time I suggest wearing gloves if you're gonna do this a lot of stuff has been handled over and over and over again and some stuff like it's new in the box never been opened like somebody got it eh, never played with it their mother got sick of it donated it to Goodwill and then it winds up here that paint set probably came from Michael's new I would say would be ten fifteen dollars I took that home with me that's one of two things that I purchased on the first day there and I'll show you what I paid for that plus that box right there it's kind of like a bedazzler type thing so that plus the other thing went right into my cart and they weigh the cart and then my price for those two items is going to show right here. Uh, $1.35, so a pound worth of merchandise. Now the next day, I'll show you my shopping cart. There, day two, here's my cart. About $75 worth of stuff. And from there, we're going to play shell game. I took five items out of that shopping cart. When I got home, <laughs> play shell game. Item number one. Number one. Remember what I was telling you? You don't know what you can find fossil handbag that retails over a hundred dollars in Canada over a hundred dollars and it looks like it wasn't even used I swear to God and I had to dig under a bunch of clothes and I was like oh, what's this what's this? I pulled it out I'm like okay you're coming home with me that bag if I had to buy it it'd be over a hundred dollars so my shopping cart of $75 worth of stuff which was like 50 pounds worth of merchandise is paid for in theory with just that bag box number two what do we have here my favorite color i used to work for victoria's secret at the west edmonton mall believe it or not when they opened there it was crazy oh my god crazy okay beach bag so this was a gift with purchase tag is still on it now on the back there's a bit of a scuff mark but that probably came from my car when I was loading it in. I haven't washed my car in two weeks. <laughs> my own fault. Beautiful bag. Look at that. Never been used. Brand spanking new. Those would have been a gift with purchase if you spent maybe I don't know 80 bucks they'd give you that. I don't know what number it was. But yeah beautiful. But wait. And who do we have there? Squeaky. My cat Squeaky. <laughs> I can't keep them off of anything. They just, oh my God, I have two cats inside. They do what they want to do. I have Squeaky and Rascal. So crystal candlestick holders, those are the ones that I showed you in the video when we were looking at all the pottery and the glassware. I brought them home. So I didn't pay by the pound on these. These were marked $4 a piece. And they even had, at least one of them even had the barcode still on the bottom. So they're made in USA. 24% lead crystal. Heavy, nice, clear, beautiful. Okay, box number four. Not a name brand, but somebody crocheted this. This is in mint condition. I said, you know what? You're coming home with me. And again, $1.35 a pound. How much do you think that weighs? Not much, not much. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, small blanket. I had to have it I'm like okay you're coming home with me and I lay it on the table turn my back for a minute and guess who claimed it squeaky 
He's a Nebelong. That's a breed of cat. They're they're so smart. They want to participate. They're loyal. Yeah, and he's sweet and just just wonderful. Okay, now this is best in show. What we just got here. I couldn't believe I found this. This painting, I cannot believe I found this. And it was in the bottom of a bin. A bin with stuff on it. Yeah, there we go. Vibrant. Beautiful. Expensive frame in perfect condition. And it had a bunch of clutter on it. It's like, got lucky to find it. I love paintings. I collect paintings. That's my thing. This was the treasure of my whole shopping cart full of stuff right there. But you know what? I'm going to show you a sixth item that I picked up. And it's quite something. It's really quite something. But this painting, I'm so happy it wasn't dinged up. It wasn't dented. And somebody had it professionally framed and wired. And yeah, they took very good care of it. And I guess they just didn't want it anymore. So now it's mine. All right, item number six. And you guys have been staring at it the whole time. This here. Now this could be a tablecloth or a bedspread. And it's tatted. You guys know tatting. It's like crocheting, but it's with ultra skinny thread. Like it's not um, yarn. It's like really small floss or thread. Somebody made that. Now I counted it, there's 480 squares, 480 squares. It's seven and a half feet by eight feet. Couldn't believe it. Please hit that subscribe if you like this video and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.